A mother named Kate lost her third child during labor. This put her into depression and made her an alcoholic. But with the help of her therapist, Kate managed to stop drinking for over a year already. While composing a song, Kate keeps getting interrupted by a banging noise. It is her deaf daughter, Max, who is playing basketball. She asks her to stop, and the little girl apologizes. Shortly after, Kate's husband John arrives with their son Daniel, and they play basketball with Max. That evening, as Kate tucks her daughter into bed, Max asks if her baby sister is in heaven, to which Kate affirms and says that she is a beautiful angel. Afterward, Kate takes her antidepressant and goes to bed. The couple talks about their plan to adopt a child, and Kate is both excited and nervous about it. The next morning, they arrive at an orphanage for girls. Sister Abigail welcomes them, and she shows Kate to the girls who are happily playing. Meanwhile, John hears a girl singing, so he goes upstairs to check it. He finds a young girl named Esther who is painting alone in the room. Esther tells him the story of her painting, and he is amazed at how brilliant she is. Kate later joins them, and the girl charms the couple until they decided to adopt her. They discuss the details with Sister Abigail, and she promises to expedite the paperwork. John and Kate bring Esther home, and they are greeted by Max. Esther uses sign language to greet her, and Max instantly likes her. Daniel, however, seems unsure about his new sister and is weirded out by the way she dressed. Esther is thrilled to see a piano and Kate offers to teach her to play, which she eagerly accepts. The family celebrates Esther's adoption with presents and cake, much like a birthday party. Daniel isn't interested though and prefers playing with his friends. The boys later go to his treehouse where they take out a hidden adult magazine. That evening, Esther hears the couple making love. She goes to Max who is sleeping soundly and moments later, the two interrupt their parents, and Esther says they couldn't sleep because of the lightning. The couple invites them to bed and Esther lies next to her father and hugs him. The next morning at school, the teacher introduces Esther to her class, and a girl named Brenda mocks her dress. Esther responds by staring coldly and calmly taking her seat. One afternoon, Daniel is playing with a paintball gun and shoots down a bird. He cries because he didn't expect it to get hurt, but Esther gives him a rock and tells him to put it out of its misery. When Daniel refuses, Esther smashes the bird without hesitation. The boy is horrified and runs off. Later that night, Kate puts away Esther's clothes while she is taking a bath. She finds an old Bible with a man's photo inside, and when she hears that Esther is almost done, she quickly puts them back in the drawer. Daniel's friends tease him because of his weird sister. When they see Esther in the hallway, Daniel knocks her things on purpose. Brenda sees her Bible and mocks her, calling Esther a freak. Esther tries to take the Bible back but ends up dropping it. As Esther rushes to pick up the scattered pages, Brenda attempts to pull the ribbon around her neck, but Esther suddenly screams, startling everyone. At home, Kate gives Esther a piano lesson, but she got frustrated after making a lot of mistakes. Kate later tells Esther about her stillborn child, and she shows her the roses where she scattered her ashes. While the children are already asleep, the couple makes love in the kitchen, but then they see Esther looking at them, so they quickly stop. Kate tries to explain to Esther what she saw but the girl casually mentions the F-word. Kate tells John that they should take her to a therapist, but he says that she is just overreacting. John brings the girls to a park, and Esther's bully Brenda is there. As she is about to go down the slide, Esther pushes her, breaking her leg. Max witnessed what happened. John asks Esther about it, but she denies pushing Brenda. They ask Max, and she confirms that the girl just slipped. Daniel says that his friends are making fun of him because of Esther. He insults her, and when his parents tell him to apologize, Daniel gets mad and leaves. The next day, John punishes his son by locking his treehouse. That evening, Kate is surprised to see that Esther is playing the piano perfectly. When asked why she pretended not to know how to play, Esther says so she could bond with her. Kate tells John about Esther's lying, but the husband wouldn't believe it. One day, Sister Abigail visits to ask about Esther. Kate tells her about the girl's behavior, and the nun advises that they return her to the orphanage. However, John opposes the idea, so Kate suggests bringing Esther to the therapist first, to which her husband agrees. Esther overhears the conversation, and she asks for Max's help to prevent Abigail from taking her away. She tells her deaf sister to find the keys to the treehouse, however, she uses the keys to access a gun from John's safe. As Abigail is leaving, Esther takes Max to a bridge and says they will scare Abigail so she won't return. When the car approaches, Esther pushes Max onto the street, causing Abigail to swerve and crash. As she rushes to help Max, Esther appears from behind and hits her with a hammer. She then instructs Max to help her move Abigail off the road. Esther hides her bloodied clothes and the hammer in the treehouse. She warns Max that she could go to jail for helping her, then says that she loves her. Daniel sees them climb down the treehouse, but Esther spots him too. 
That night, she threatens Daniel with a scalpel to keep quiet, causing him to urinate. John and Kate take Esther to see the therapist, and she tells them that there's nothing wrong with the girl. Instead, she thinks that Kate is the issue, feeling inadequate as a mother and taking it out on Esther. Returning home, Kate gets a call from the orphanage, saying Sister Abigail hasn't returned since yesterday. The police later find her body where Esther left it. An officer talks to the couple and says that they have no suspects yet. Kate becomes more suspicious of Esther. The next day, she asks her children about her, but they falsely claim that Esther has never done anything wrong. That evening, Esther presents Kate with a bucket of roses from where the ashes of her stillborn child were scattered. Kate tries to get the flowers, but Esther won't give them, so she grabs her by the arm. The girl screams as if in pain, and she runs away when John comes over. Esther then goes to the garage and intentionally breaks her arm. She later calls for John and shows him her broken arm. After coming back from the hospital, John tucks Esther into bed and confronts Kate, but she denies grabbing Esther too hard. She later buys two wine bottles to get drunk, but after just one glass, Kate pours the bottles into the drain. The next morning, Kate drives the kids to school. While she is helping Daniel, Esther puts the car in neutral while Max is inside. Kate is freaking out as she chases the car, and luckily, it just hit a pile of snow. That evening, the therapist comes over, and Kate claims that she put the car in park. John shows the wine bottle that Esther found, indicating that she is back to drinking again. The therapist advises that she go to rehab, but Kate insists that she didn't drink all of the wine. They don't believe her, and John gives her a week to go to rehab or he will leave with the kids. Meanwhile, Esther threatens Max not to tell on her or she'll kill her mommy. Daniel later talks to Max about Sister Abigail, and the girl shows him her drawings which showed what Esther did to Brenda and the nun. Daniel asks about the treehouse, and Max says that she had the evidence there. Daniel says he will get them to show to their parents, but Esther overhears him. Kate later sneaks into Max's room, but then the light suddenly turns on, revealing Esther. She has read Kate's diary, that's why she knew where she hid her wine bottle. She keeps taunting Kate, knowing that she couldn't hurt her. The next day, Kate looks for Esther's Bible and finds pictures of men and the word Sarn Institute. She finds their number online and calls it. That's when she learns that it is not an orphanage, but a mental institute. Meanwhile, Daniel sneaks out to get the evidence from the treehouse. Esther appears and after setting the treehouse on fire, she locks Daniel inside. As the fire spread fast, Daniel climbs out until he falls hard to the ground. Esther just smiles as she watches him. Kate sees the fire and rushes outside, and as Esther is about to end Daniel, Max pushes her. Daniel luckily survived the fall, and Kate knows that Esther has something to do with it. In the hospital, the doctor says that Daniel has a serious neck injury, but he'll eventually wake up. Kate shares her findings about Esther with John, but he is still unconvinced. Esther sneaks into Daniel's room and smothers him with a pillow. Max goes to follow her and realizes what's happening, so she runs to seek help from their parents. The alarm goes off, and the doctors rush to save Daniel. Kate has had enough, so she goes to Esther and slaps her hard. The staff restrain Kate and sedate her. She later wakes up and John tells her that Daniel is fine. She pleads to keep Esther away from Max, but he wouldn't listen and leaves. After tucking Max into bed, John drinks wine and later gets drunk. Esther joins him while dressed up like an adult. When she tries to seduce him, John is startled and instructs her to go to her room. Esther gets mad and says not to treat her like a child. He intends to call the orphanage about her, and Esther retreats to her room and cries. Meanwhile, Kate receives a call from a doctor at the Sarn Institute, saying that he recognized Esther from the picture she emailed. He urges Kate to get her family out of the house and call the police. The doctor reveals that Esther is not a child, but an adult woman who has a hormone disorder that makes her appear younger. She is also one of their most violent patients, having killed at least seven people. Meanwhile, John goes to check on Esther and finds her room trashed, but he couldn't find her. Kate calls John as she is rushing home, but the power goes out in the house before he can answer, so Kate proceeds to call the police. While John searches the house with a flashlight, Esther suddenly stabs him multiple times until he expires. Max witnesses this, so Esther goes to chase her. Kate arrives and crashes into the house. She sobs after seeing her dead husband, but then proceeds to search for Max. Esther suddenly shoots Kate, but she manages to escape to the rooftop. The psycho later finds Max in the garden and tries to shoot her, but misses. Upon seeing this, Kate breaks the glass roof and falls on top of Esther, making them both pass out. Max wakes up her mother, and before they leave, Kate takes the gun from Esther. As they venture through the woods, they see the police arriving. However, as they check the house, Esther is nowhere to be found. She suddenly appears and chases them with a knife. As she and Kate struggle on a frozen lake, Max picks up the gun and tries to shoot Esther but misses. 
However, it caused the ice to shatter, making them both fall in. Kate prevails over Esther, and as she pleads not to be left to die, Kate kicks her back into the water, finally ending her life. Did you like our movie recap? Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. To be updated for new movie recaps, hit the notification bell.